Welcome, combatants. So, tomorrow is Sunday of Comic Con with the MK panel, and everything we're going to see, we're going to discuss and be excited. But do like, subscribe with the bell notification, follow us future for more content. So, yes, people, as we have got this final season of Dictator, Combat Pack 1 is officially out and it's officially done and dusted. Now, it does start tomorrow. Yes, the, the panel will start at 2 p.m to 3 p.m yes so this is when it will happen at pacific time mortal kombat year two will officially be announced and will officially be spoken about to start in september which gives them a whole month to prepare and tease and show everything that's coming in this we will finally get to hear and see a little bit more of the story stuff that's meant to be going on we're supposed to be seeing the stuff about titan havoc and all the things that comes with him now being the big bad finally after so many years he is officially the big bad and he's wreaking havoc no pun intended but yes we will also get to see some of our year two characters maybe like Sykes and Sector we will finally get to see how their characters are going to be are they officially girls was that just putting the files to throw us off or is this something completely different this would be something that will make people very interested and very look forward to Countess J we've already heard about her in the story and also in the intro dialogues with the characters so we know that Countess Jade exists and she's coming in this DLC story pack so this is going to be something really cool noob cybot we know he's going to also appear we have also heard that he's going to be in the story dlc and he's going to be bihar who's going to be changed by havoc so this is going to be a really interesting um storyline to see what happens to him after does he become sub-zero again or does he leave it all up to frost for the next mk game but also we know that shang Tsung in this end boss does turn into a noob cybot which is a very interesting thing still can't believe that he actually does that now we also will get to see a little bit more of the Shara Ryu and on their side we will get to see a little bit more of Harumi as we know that Erika is going to be on the stage with Bihan's voice actor as well and she's going to be discussing stuff about her voicing of Harumi and what she's going to have to do what's going on and she's going to be a cameo too though we won't get to see little Hanzo he might have grown a little bit since that since the main storyline and also we'll probably get to see how Harumi will play as a cameo which will be really good because we get to see a little bit more about them tying up the fact of the new Shira Ryu versus the Lin Kuei and that's going to be quite an interesting storyline to actually go through but other than that we also still do have other things that will be coming in this we'll also get to see a lot of the new faces and features that are going to be in this we'll see concept arts we'll see all them things to discuss characters who they aren't showing and to also show what they look like even little cameos as well like Shinnok we know Shinnok's going to be a cameo so maybe they will show him off in this trailer as well we do also know that we are going to get a CG trailer which will feature Melina and bring back animalities so animalities will be coming back into this game and we're going to be able to see that and it's going to be really really cool to see animalities after so many years since trilogy and then ultimate Mortal Kombat days but now animalities are officially back in the game this to me is going to be something really cool I can't wait for them to show that off and see how that's going to be and it will feature Melina turning into a certain animal though we don't know what animal she will turn into something I wonder how they're gonna do animalities to make them make sense more and what they're going to be like but it's going to be interesting all the stuff that they're going to show story DLC the characters when it's officially dropping and all the new stuff that's coming features and more that are definitely coming to MK1 a lot of features are coming a lot of features to be dropped and things to be altered and changed in mk1 in this year two with the year two of new moves new stuff new surprises who knows what they're going to reveal talk about and show off and get our first glimpse at but tomorrow is definitely the big day so remember people it starts at 2 p.m till 3 p.m so it's a good whole hour that we're going to be able to see some really really good stuff but let me know guys what are you most excited about seeing the characters new features the new mode that might be in it or just the whole combat that we're getting as a whole panel which would be something really good but do like subscribe this is your boy future boy and that's future stay frosty peeps peace